Gangsters, Gatsby, and Guns. I've got 11 questions for you on the Roaring Twenties. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show. It comes out every day, and you should hit subscribe on your device so you never miss an episode. I am still playing catch up on the last few days from a crazy busy weekend and a lot of crazy stuff going on in our lives in Southern California, so thanks for bearing with me if you like trivia. If you're brand new to the show, there's like 700 other episodes to go back and check out, so find those in the feed, and if you want to find some of the oldest episodes, you can always go to our Libsyn page. Just search Trivia with Buds podcast and click on the Libsyn link from your Google search results and you can find the entire archives of the show. Great for road trips, great for workouts, great for plane rides and fun to play out loud with a friend, a partner or a whole group. Someone told me that they listened to this show with their trivia team to kind of practice for the local pub quiz night that they play in their hometown. So that's a great use of the show and also just kind of gets your brain going if you're a big game show person. I am sitting in a green room right now at the Brea Improv in Southern California, Brea, California to be exact, and I am getting ready to go on and do some trivia for a company's holiday party. This company is doing like an hour-long keynote before I go on, so I'm just kind of hanging out, and I got here extra early, so I thought I'll catch up on some podcasts. So today we have 11 questions for you on the Roaring Twenties. I used this as one of my live trivia nights last week, and it went pretty well, and I think I used this round maybe three or four years ago when I first started really getting into the trivia hosting uh, as well. I think I I got asked to do like a speakeasy show, like at this little um, whiskey bar that had a hidden room towards the back, like to establish prohibition kind of uh, setting in the back of this bar. And it was pretty cool. I think we entered through like a painting that you had to twist off the wall or a bank vault or something crazy. But um, it was all 20s themed that party. And this is one of the rounds I did for this lady's, I think it was her 50th birthday. So it was cool. Everyone was dressed as flapper girls and gangsters and it made for a, a fun little event. If you're looking for a theme for a party coming up in 2020 or maybe still your holiday party do some gangster trivia could be fun for everybody okay we're going to jump into this round it is all about the roaring 20s we got stuff about books songs actors and more here's 11 questions and here we go all right the roaring 20s question number one how well do you know these prohibition friendly questions and answers. Here's number one. Hugh Lofting wrote what novel of 1920 that's also an upcoming Robert Downey Jr. movie? Question number one. Hugh Lofting wrote what novel of 1920 that's also an upcoming Robert Downey Jr. movie? Number one. Question number two. In 1926, U.S. Route 66 was created to run between what two major cities? Question number two. In 1926, U.S. Route 66 was created to run between what two major U.S. cities? Roaring 20s, question number three. In 1927, Edwin Perkins invented what drink mix in Nebraska? Number three, in 1927, Edwin Perkins invented what drink mix in Nebraska? Question number four. What larger comedian starred in films called The Butcher Boy, Coney Island, and Out West? Question number four. What larger comedian starred in films called The Butcher Boy, Coney Island, and out west. Number five on your list, what famous three-word piece from George Gershwin came out in 1924? What famous three-word piece from George Gershwin came out in 1924? Question number six, who was the last U.S. president of the decade? Speaking of the 20s, who was the last president of the decade? Number six. Question number seven. What killed Houdini in 1926? Was it a botched trick, measles, drowning, or appendicitis? Number seven. What killed Houdini in 1926? Was it a botched trick, measles, drowning, or appendicitis? Number 
Question number eight, what was Al Capone's full first name? What was Al short for? Number eight, what was Al Capone's full first name? Question number nine, Jack Dempsey was a well-known athlete in what sport during the 20s? Number nine, Jack Dempsey was a well-known athlete in what sport during the 20s? And question 10, the Charleston was a dance named after a city in what state? Number 10, the Charleston was a dance named after a city in what state? Your bonus question to close out this quiz on the Roaring Twenties for two points, Garrett Morgan invented what in 1923? Your hint is two words, less crashes. Number 11, for two points, Garrett Morgan invented what in 1923? Hint is less crashes. Those are all your questions for today's quiz from the 1920s. We'll be right back in just a second with the roaring answers. Here we go, everybody, back with the answers to the Roaring Twenties quiz. Here's question number one. Hugh Lofting wrote what novel of 1920 that's also an upcoming Robert Downey Jr. movie? The answer there would be Dr. Doolittle. I have not seen a extended trailer. I'm sure it'll be fun, but uh, hopefully our... DJ can really uh, shine on screen again after the Avengers movies. Dr. Doolittle, number one. Number two, in 1926, U.S. Route 66 was created to run between what two major cities? Chicago and L.A. Chicago and L.A. Some people say route. Some people say route. I go back and forth. Number three, in 1927, Edwin Perkins invented what drink mix in Nebraska? It was Kool-Aid with a K. Kool-Aid, which my mom used to buy in packets and packets and packets and keep them until they expired and then keep them even longer longer after that. Number four, what larger comedian starred in films called The Butcher Boy, Coney Island, and out west, Fatty Arbuckle. Fatty Arbuckle. You should read a book called I, Fatty by Jerry Stahl. Got it for Christmas probably 10 years ago. Really good book that is a kind of a, eh, I don't know, it's like a fictionalization of his life, but it has a lot of true stuff in it, but it's it's not exactly true. So check that out. I, Fatty. Number five, what famous three-word piece from George Gershwin came out in 1924? That would be Rhapsody in Blue. Number five, number five. I remember learning about that kind of stuff, uh, classical music and and just music that revolutionized the world uh, in grade school, like, I don't know, fifth through eighth grade. And then I feel like never again. I feel like I never learned any more about that in high school or college or anything. Number six, who was the last president of the decade? That would be Herbert Hoover. Number six, Herbert Hoover. Number six. Number seven, what killed Houdini in 1926? Botched trick, measles, drowning, or appendicitis. It was the latter, appendicitis. Number seven. Number eight, what was Al Capone's full first name? That was short for Alphonse, A-L-P-H-O-N-S-E, Alphonse Capone. And number nine, Jack Dempsey was a well-known athlete in what sport during the 20s? Boxing. He was a boxer. Jack Dempsey. Great boxing name. Number 10, the Charleston was a dance named after a city in what state? That would be South Carolina, South Carolina. And for two points, Garrett Morgan invented what in 1923? Your hint was less crashes. And the answer there was traffic signal. Garrett Morgan invented the traffic signal. So there you go. Those are your answers to the Roaring Twenties quiz for today. Hope you had fun playing along with the episode. If you like the show, do me something for free. Give me a favor. Go over to iTunes and leave a review. That would be very cool to help get more eyes and ears on the show. iTunes reviews. I think we're at 160 right now, which is very, very helpful. And we stay on the top of those uh, search results by more reviews and more people searching for the show. So thank you for doing that if you've already done it. And if you haven't, you've been listening for a while, do me that favor for Christmas time. Just go leave a review on iTunes. If you want to join the 50 plus subscribers on Patreon to this show, go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and help us get a bigger ship to sail. We are cruising into 2020 and I have a lot of plans for how to grow the company and you guys can all be a part of it. And the easiest way to do that is to jump over on Patreon, donate a buck, donate five bucks and uh, more if you have it. And that would be very cool on a monthly basis because all that money sits in a pile for me to be able to do cool stuff with, like buy t-shirts or pins or bumper stickers and things like that to mail fans of the show and also to put on certain types of events and to pay certain types of bills. So thank you so much if you are a donator over on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Trivia with Buds, link in the show notes. It's time for the question of the day brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. 
<clears throat> of San Dimas, California. Sorry about that. Choked on my own spit. What Peanuts character played the piano? Tweet me your answer at Ryan Buds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was November, which was the month JFK was assassinated in, and that yesterday's winner was Adam Loudermilk from Canada. Thank you, Adam, for sending me that email with your answer. I'll send you some cool stuff in the mail. Your trivia team name of the day is from Russia with Gloves because it's cold there. And you can check out DrewBlank.com for all your Christmas shopping. Use the code BUDS25 to save 25% site wide. Thank you guys so much for listening to the show. Thanks for telling a friend about the podcast and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with me. Cheers.